Welcome to the Turf Report with Sam and Jess. Yeah. What's oh my god, up? that cat is going to knock <sighs> that tripod Don't off say the table. that. Don't say look, that. Look, 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 look. Oh, oh my god. god. Like literally. Come here. Oh my gosh. No. Oh no. my god. <laughs> <laughs> this is oh. terrifying. Stop it. Bubba, come here. Come here. Come here, kitty kitten. Okay. Oh okay. <laughs> okay. We're okay. We're okay. We're okay. All right. For those. Ooh, that was a shaky start, quite literally. That's not okay. the way to start a podcast. No, she's Louise. We're recording this at the last possible minute, too. Well, okay. Oh, yeah, like so Zach. We, we haven't missed, we've only missed one Monday deadline. Yeah. Right? Zach. And that was like a clip show that came out, right? No, well, oh. that was, remember, that was with Chandler. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't like to bring it up. Yeah. Um, no. Stop, I, I wasn't Z- that mad. Zach, oh, okay. Um, Zach messaged me this morning and he was like, just let me know when it's uploaded. And I'm like, ah, we will do, but sorry. <laughs> Does Zach sorry. know we're doing it? Did you tell him no, we're doing it? I didn't tell him that we're doing it at six o'clock at night. Oh my God. So I'm just going to try and do everything really fast. Yeah. And um, I'm, <laughs> I don't know where all of my SD cards went. I lost everything. Yeah. Um, I'm a damn mess. So yeah. I leave for one week and you Holy fall, guacamole. Fell I, well, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. That's really? I think that's what happened. Has it been rough? It's been yes. This week has been fucking rough too. Really? Mm-hmm. What's been? Is it the same? Just the same. Just yeah. you know, still getting, um, still getting the backlash of everything, and just like, it, or that, or like, um, just talking to everybody, yeah. and like everybody has like sympathetic eyes, and they're just like, oh, <laughs> and they're yeah. like, oh, what happened? And like, and it's just like, it's like this embarrassing thing that I did, and like I, um, you know. Can't get away from it, but I did get to, um, I did get to go to the comedy cellar about it, <laughs> Yeah, you got to go to <laughs> like, New York. which was, um, yeah. you know, they sent, they were like one of the many emails that I got, um, during <laughs> when the, when all of the emails were coming in and I was like, initially I didn't even like pay attention to it. Cause I was like, fuck that. Like, that's not even real. I thought it was somebody punking me really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but Dane was like, no, you need, we need to do it. Like yeah. we need to, well, he wanted me to do it because he wanted me to be on the comedy seller podcast. But, yeah. um, and so we hopped on a flight and did you guys buy a ticket that day? He, well, um, we were, we like went back and forth because I was supposed to do a roast battle yeah. with Brandon at Nate's. Yeah. I remember. And then I was like, I was really fighting with that because I'm like, I don't want to, I don't want to leave Brandon high and dry. Cause like, obviously a roast battle is very like it's very specific and yeah, like yeah. people write jokes for yeah. the person that they're roasting. Mm-hmm. And so I was like trying to figure out like, um, I was trying to find a comic who was exactly like me, oh. <laughs> which there are a few. So I was like, isn't it, what is Nasil doing? Yeah. <laughs> like, you guys got a similar vibe. Yeah. She's, you know, the same size mm-hmm. and same, you know, kind Recovery of the same, same build and yeah. a lot of, yeah. Um, but she was busy. I asked mm-hmm. Rachel Shaw. She kind of has, um, a little bit of my anxious energy and, um, but then something happened with the show and, uh, they ended up kind of changing the format anyway. So, um, we decided, I think at like 11 on Monday that we were going to fly out on Tuesday or something like that. Wow. Like, yeah. And we're on a flight and then it was a long flight and we were late to the podcast and that didn't help. (laughs) That didn't help. Didn't they understand that you literally bought tickets like for the next? Yeah, day no, they weren't. They they didn't say anything yeah. about us being late. You can't be that mad. No, and also like you're just doing the best that you can. No, they were, fi- and we were only like, well, because where we were, and then where the comedy is, it's like twelve miles. Mm-hmm. But then when we got in the taxi, it was forty five minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah. oh shit! Oh, I don't know about t- I don't know about um, New York traffic. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it was it was terrifying. And, um, I didn't realize that the owner of the pod of the comedy seller was going to be, yeah, that's, ex- that was doing the podcast surprising and exciting. Yeah. And, um, not on our team. Yeah. Not on my side. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Made that very, very clear. Um, but it what was, did they, as the, did the podcast come out? Yeah. Yeah. It came uh-huh. out, um, it came out this week. So maybe did, that, that could have, you know, they wait until like they were recording before. He like came at you. Was it like he didn't really like come at me? But it's oh. just you know he. I mean he didn't say that I was anti comedy. Yeah. Um, he said you were anti comedy. Mm-hmm. 
That's yeah. Kind of, <laughs> so, as but, someone who just booked a date at your club, <laughs> for, as I a comedy, say that doesn't bode well for me. I know it sucks. Well, do you want me to bomb? I don't want you to do jokes. <laughs> you don't want me to Sorry. do jokes. Please uh, don't be funny. Okay. I want you to come, and I just want you to just tell a story. <laughs> I was gonna do that. I was we're just gonna, gonna we're gonna snap after, and we're cool. changing the entire the entire dynamic <laughs> of the comedy bar. Yeah. It's just going to be the smiling bar. I know you guys have really been struggling lately. <laughs> we really have. <laughs> Your numbers, this whole thing. You know what's funny is like the like everything else in the world has changed, but like it seems like the business is doing the same as it was before. Mm. Yeah, we're okay. We, the only thing that's different is that um uh they brought us a cake <laughs> and um we got these really awesome Who got you guys a cake? Just uh, when we had fun and flirty, I think it was an A, and oh, but it said awesome. it said um because one of one of the Fox Five things that they posted when uh, Jim Florentine went on said that Seattle hate or Seattle loves, loves drugs, drugs hates, hates comedy. comedy. It wasn't that was on Jesse Waters. Oh, was it? <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. That okay, was it was on, like, somewhere straight up Fox News, like yeah. on the Chiron. Yeah. that's not Fox Five. Oh, okay. That's, that's different. the Fox News channel. Oh, I didn't even. I didn't even know that. Yeah, that's like, like national. That's like insane, like, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> and so, <laughs> but yeah, and so that's what it. It literally said that, and so we just saw an opportunity, and oh, it's the best. Like, yeah. made some awesome new T-shirts. They're not lying, but I would say that people in Seattle like comedy just as much as any other place. I thought you were going to say that, that the t-shirts weren't awesome. No, t -shirts are the t-shirts are awesome. Yeah, yeah. Um, it says Seattle loves drugs and hates comedy. You know what I hate <laughs> though is they only went up to XL. I know I'm saying you got like, um, you accidentally got what? sizest. What do you mean? Because yeah, cause we're ordering more. We are ordering bigger. Cause <laughs> did we, somebody say something? Yeah. You're not the big, you're not the only person, but like, no, no. I think that, I think Dane was so worried about getting like my size, like yeah, X, yeah, X, yeah. extra small. Yeah. Like he wasn't, he didn't go the other way. He skewed. Yeah. And so, yeah, so Dane's that was the guy a, I got to talk to. Well, we're, we're ordering them. They're, they're coming. They're coming. I promise. Because I, mean, I want one. Yeah, they're fucking I would great. rock it all yeah. the time. I think it's um, really funny. And they're really soft. I like think it's too, it's funny to like, it honestly like, after all this stuff, and you know, we talked about it at length on um, the last podcast, mm -hmm. is that in the end, it's just like, mm, that was fucking oh, wild. Yeah, hey, remember that time? <laughs> remember when I pissed off that comedian and like made national news? Yeah. Remember when I fucked up at work yeah. and uh, it became national news? You know news? what's wild? <laughs> is it like, if you were like, if you drove a garbage truck, right? right and you accidentally like ran over a kid. Yeah, that might make national news. Yeah. <laughs> if you were a garbage truck who was like, if you were a garbage guy who was like mixing the recycling with like the that's regular. That's what I was first like, thinking, but then I was like, uh, but that's, then you that's stop really doing it. Yeah, that wouldn't be on the news. <laughs> they'd be like, that would just be like, right. uh, they'd be like, hey, Jess, you need to pay more attention. Stop doing that. Well, that's what uh, should have happened as well. Street. That's what should have happened with this as well. Yeah, but that's not, that's the thing is you didn't know you ran over. Uh, yeah, I ran over. Why well, ran over? I ran over. I wasn't a child. No, it was, it was a grown ass adult. <laughs> you know what you did is you drove by a kid who was telling a a, a wild joke, and you were like, "Shh, mm -mm. stop!" Shh. Did you just shush me? Yeah. Did you just shush me? <laughs> um. But yeah. So they were definitely they weren't they weren't on our side, but it was okay. Like it, I honestly I kind of appreciated it a little bit. Um. At least. I knew where I stood. Yeah. Um, whereas like, I was like, it was very, um, it was kind of refreshing for someone to just tell me straight yeah. up. Like, I don't agree with you and I don't, th I don't like, I don't like it and I don't like you. <laughs> well, he didn't say he didn't like us, but, um, I'll just say this too. Like as someone who is dealing with like a lot of, like, I know club owners now, mm -hmm. you know, um, that <laughs> like a club owner telling another club owner that they don't really like see eye to eye. Like, that happens yeah regardless of like usually that's not like a moral stance somebody's right. taking usually it's because business yeah business stuff like they're they're trying to undercut the other person or moving into a market with the other person like yeah at a certain point like there's this ceases to be art completely yeah they becomes, just 
they really yeah. took it as like a like we were you know it was a freedom of speech issue and we were slighting That's what them. People, I wish that people would just stop with that. Like, um, it's so tired. To I say. wish they would shut the fuck up about this free speech <laughs> yeah, shit. It's yeah, really yeah. bothering me. It's just. The, <laughs> it's just. I'm the, kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Yeah, the idea that like you can if you own a business like you can tell somebody that you don't want them to talk mm. you're not going to pay them to talk at your business like if jess was to call the cops on these people then that that's like different and if the cops came and arrested them right yes right like, during their sets or something like like, um, up, I will say, I will say though, um, as I didn't know we were going to like, I like that we're talking about it because to me it's still interesting and I support you as a friend, but I thought that by now it's yeah. got to be like slowing down though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. But I mean, we haven't talked about this on the podcast though. I mean, what about the, oh, I mean, the, about the comedy about me going to the comedy yeah, cellar. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, I just and mean I, the whole but, uh, yeah, but no, like it's like, still, yeah. it's still very much going on. I'm still, I mean, you, you saw, I just showed you some, uh, my, yeah. my phone oh book God. or my message. And so yeah. like, there are still, I'm still getting it. It's not yeah. nearly as bad. Um, I got a, I got an email, um, a couple of days ago titled Dick Festival. Yeah. And, and then it told me to go fuck myself. But <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> like, I'm like, damn uh, it. You know, and then I just reply back and I'm like, thank you so much for your email. It's, you know, it, you know yeah. entitled Dick Festival. Um, but I will say after, um, after I think Dane and I just sat there the entire time like, oh my God, what the fuck is happening? Yeah. Um, but after we were done, um, they took us downstairs and um, Noam showed us, like gave us a manager and was like, here, give them the VIP treatment. And they like, um, gave us dinner and drinks oh, and let us go awesome. to a show where we got to see yeah. Colin Quinn. Yeah. And like, that's a, a favorite of mine. Yeah. Um, like I love tough crowd. I love to, yeah, like, I was like yeah, literally yeah. just sitting there like what? And it was in like the, um, I'm not sure which room it was in, but like, it was so fucking tight. Like we were, I mean, elbow to elbow, like yeah. with people, like you couldn't get out to go to the bathroom yeah, yeah, and yeah. nobody gave a shit. No, no, no. Nobody gave a, a fuck. It's a, uh, yeah. Like it's just like such like it's just like yeah. everybody is just so it's happy the, to be you know, there. It's like the comedy store, the comedy, the comedy cellar, yeah. and um, I don't know. I think those clubs are kind of like the, and I guess you know the mothership now has become yeah its own thing. What was what was crazy? What was cool was that you know so they had like they have four separate rooms. And so in any given moment, there's comedy going on. Yeah. But we saw um, Mike, Bobig Bob how do you say his name? Mike Bobiglia? That's um, Chandler. That's Chandler's going to fucking kill me. Yeah, Mike Birbiglia. <laughs> yeah. Um, right? Yeah, Mike Birbiglia. Yeah. I think that's who we saw. Mm -hmm. God, I think I've been getting it wrong. Um, over here, like in all of, we saw all of them in this room and then they will go over and then do another set over here. Yeah, and then they go yeah, to this yeah. room and then do another 15 minute set over here. And then I would go to this room. And yeah. I'm like, that is fucking awesome. So you get yeah. four different and they're like, the room sizes are different. Like, so it's not, you know, so there's like an 800 or a 200 person and an 80 person. And like the, yeah. they pay comics fair too. Like they'll have, they do, they do well by people. I know Rutledge works at the cellar a lot. And yeah. A lot of people do. And they have the one in Vegas and then they have, I think there's another one. There's New York, there's Vegas. I think they, yes, I think they have. No, no, I don't want to say. There's I know they have at least New York and Vegas, and um, the Vegas one is very popular too, because it's like it becomes like a brand. That's the thing about the comedy store is the comedy store managed to kind of get it in everybody's heads that they are the number one comedy club. Mm -hmm. And you know what? In a way, like yeah, you are. Like if you get it in everybody's heads, that's yeah. What makes <laughs> if it, you're able to do that, yeah, to do that, yeah. Just well, I, I just think about. There was a point that I wanted to make. Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to say. After the last podcast, mm -hmm. like, I got, and it was partly just, like, defending you. Did you get messages? No. Nobody oh. says anything to me. Oh, okay. What, sorry, what were you saying? That um, I kind of, like, went off on um, a subset of comics, and I want to really clearly define the boundaries of the comics that I'm talking about. Okay. And that is the comics that are just, like, uh, randomly like harassing Jess because I they think it's gonna like they're gonna score points or whatever and there are yeah. comics that are not performing at a lot of venues already because they're not welcome at those venues mm. um 
and that they're kind of like, oh, this is like another one. Like those are the comics that I'm talking about is the ones that are like, if you're, if you already like never had a career in this industry and then got kicked out of a lot of clubs already, Mm -hmm. like you don't work at the, any of the major spots in the Puget Sound. Right. And then Jess has this happen. And then you're like, Jess is ruining (laughs) comedy and ruining my life. Like, you're the one I'm talking about. Like, you're the people that I'm talking about when I say that, like, I think it's time to, like, step back and, like, re-examine, like, why you're doing comedy at all. Because if it's anything outside of, like, trying to make, like, large groups of people laugh, then you're probably not doing it right. Like, if you really want to go up there and, like, challenge people. (laughs) I just want to say the N-word. And, like, like, stretch the boundaries or whatever. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, that's part of comedy and that's part of humor is, like, is, like, playing with that third rail. And, like, like the idea that, that, like... You're in trouble because you're too brave. <laughs> like, if you're like, because that's not that's not what the score is. And I want I want everybody to hear me like very clearly um, that I there are no comics in the scene that I really have any beef with at all. Yeah. Even nationally, there are no comics that I have any okay. beef with. Well, now you're just fucking bragging. But there are about 90% of comics that I'm just kind of like neutral to. Like I don't like, because it's, it's not there. It's not comics faults that they're not like, they're not good at this yet. And maybe Mm -hmm. they will be good at it. And it's like, it's so hard to do comedy. It's, it is hard. I think that I didn't have. Don't ever think that I think that open micers are like bad. And when I say open micers too, I'm not using that as like, oh, open micers, open micers. Yeah. It's just a level, you know, it's just a level where you're not getting paid I mean, to I, do comedy and it's okay. Right. And I, well, and I, I was think an that open micer for a long time. Well, I think that that's like the, um, and we've talked about this before, like what is the, what defines like an open mic or what makes you an open mic or as opposed yeah. to just being, I, am I like a regular comedian? Like why? Um, but I guess, you know, if you're yeah. being paid, if you think Jess ruined your career, you're an open mic. <laughs> yeah, Cause if the only careers that I could, can ruin are open, open mic. So no, I'm sorry. I'm, I am, well, I do Jess feel knows, bad. Yeah. Jess knows that like a mistake was made. Yeah. She's acknowledged it mm-hmm. and like you can move on or we you can, can just can. stay mad forever. Let's all move on. Let's just move Actually, on together. Now that I think about you're it, you're still mad. Yeah. <laughs> Two. God damn it. About what? Huh? What did I do? Do you remember that time you were late when we were supposed to go to Eureka? Yeah. And then you just I slept vomited. in my car. I you vomited threw up at enough the club about because it. Because you were so anxious. You can't bring this up again. <laughs> I threw up. You can't bring it up. Why not? Because I threw up enough to make you feel sorry for me. <laughs> Dude, I felt sorry for you the whole fucking time. I felt, oh, I, listen. Dude, I felt I, I feel sorry, sorry for I you. I almost always. left. I almost left. I knew that, oh my God, if I would have left. <laughs> oh, holy shit. God. If I would have left. Yeah. yeah. And I would have woke up at. Yeah. Well, you really don't want, you really hate that I'm talking uh, about it. It's no, I don't now. know. It's, it's fine now. It's lore it's now. <laughs> it's adorable. Remember that time? It's the yeah. it's the preface to our book. Yes, it's adorable. It's so cute. Wasn't that the just right chest? when we started doing the podcast yeah. too? Mm. It was close. I don't know. We started. I think we started in January. I can't remember <laughs> so, when. Oh um, yeah, no, that would have been horror fucking horrendous, dude. It was so funny. Oh, uh, how I you're like I'm gonna go to the gas station, and I think, <sighs> and I swear to God, like in my head, I can get to your house from mine in 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, because I think that you can get anywhere in 15 minutes. Yeah. And um, I could look that's back not and, the case. I could look back <laughs> at my messages because there was a message I sent you. I was like, just Jess. like frantic. Well, I was worried about you because I knew that it was going to make yeah. you really upset if you missed it. And I sent you this message. I was You're like, like, I'm not upset. I was like, Jess, <laughs> I want you to know, like, I'm not mad at you. And we're going to figure this out. But, but if I don't hear from you in like 30 minutes, like, I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> And I think I called it like 20, 28, yeah, 30. Like 28. <laughs> and then the a most amazing thing when you called 
you were like, I think you were like, are you here? <laughs> <laughs> like I was going to go up here. Oh my god, that's right. I forgot that part. <laughs> I did think Are that you, you were picking me up. I was oh like, oh my god, it's you're here. Oh my god, it's too early. <laughs> I forgot about that part. It was amazing. But yeah, that's I'm so not. Funny. I I actually um, um I'll say I, you know, we can talk about this more if you want, but I will like stop right now and just say like how proud I am of you for mm -hmm. how like not for you know, like you've handled it well but what like what i'm most impressed about is that you seem like you're slowing down and seeing it for what it is and like understanding too that like it's temporary yeah and that like it'll stop and also like making the shirts and being like no 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 like I, we own this well like, we're not yeah we get it we're yeah. in on the joke and yeah um yeah Good it job. was just yeah it was cool and so that was you know, it was a rough, it's been a rough couple of weeks and I'm, I'm hoping that we're, we're out of it. Part of it's like, kind of cool though too, right? I like, it's kind of, it's re really wild. Like yeah. Dana and I are just like, did that, like, what the fuck? Yeah, I understand what that just it, happened? it trends towards like shitty, but that yeah. also like, as far as like, like, I couldn't like a demolition derby goes, <laughs> right? as it far was, as like good. a NASCAR wreck, mm -hmm. pretty sweet. Yeah. I had, I, I did it big. You did? I did it big. Yeah. 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 You did. Even my mom heard about it. Oh, nice. Yeah. What about shitty bridges? They, yeah, they all heard. They bought t-shirts. That's rad. Um, my mom even sent me like a sentimental message and she was like, it's going to be fine. Screw those guys. I'm like, thanks mom. So yeah, it's all good. We're getting through it. That rules. Um, and we have these awesome, it finally, like we have been needing to get merch forever. Mm -hmm. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to print out like a, um, a picture of the, the Fox. Yeah. The Chiron with yeah. Jesse Waters and put it up next to where the, Those where the t-shirts are so that yeah. when this does all blow over and people don't know what the fuck that means, then they'll have a reference point of, uh, you know, what they're, what they're buying. So, um, but you are, uh. You just, you Dude, have that been was such a great thank you. slash thank transition. You. Thank I you. Was, if you would have let me finish, it would have been fucking perfect. It was just really cool. Cause I was like, I know that's how we were getting better at this. Yeah. But not and like we're at the 22 like minute yeah. mark. And like it's we like, talked about me. Now it's time to talk about you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or do you want to just end it? Yeah, yeah. This has been great, man. I don't the know. That's gonna knock the tripod off. Like, I'm not gonna be able to. I'm not gonna top I was that transition. A little bit close to getting just to cry. <laughs> yeah. Was I? What? A little bit when I was like when I told you I was proud of you. Yes. A little bit. Yeah. You're fucking lying, and I know you're lying because you'd be <laughs> fucking with me if you weren't. Okay. Um, that was good. Uh, you you just got back. You've been yeah. You've been gallivanting oh, once again. Oh, the gallivanting mm -hmm. never ceases with this guy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Great run. Some challenges, mostly great run. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I just got back from Chicago. Um. Did a wild run of um regular shows and um recovery shows and uh, awesome. every kind of show you can show and chicago as usual is you know eureka california chicago illinois those yeah. are my two favorite places those, are your, those are your spots at. yeah 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 hmm. um tall trees and tall buildings that's what i keep saying why what is it with chicago i don't know i don't know um it's just, have good it sets just there. no it's not it's like it's a vibe it's like this kind of like mix of like city and country shit that just like calls to me it's like it just feels like this place where if you act right and are respectful which i'm like usually always try to be mm -hmm. like people are generally like fairly friendly and like um understanding and like it's a place where if you got a reason to be there it's cool if you're just like fucking around though you could probably get into trouble real quick yeah but um yeah so uh friday night did like a recovery thing it was kind of like half stand-up half like storytelling kind of thing mm. um saturday i did a show 
um, for the Village of Niles Engage program, which is like a suburb in Chicago. Mm-hmm. I hope I'm saying that right. Um, this whole thing was um, helped put together by this dude, Marty Cook, who is a just a fantastic oh, individual Marty. that people really love. And it's funny when you get to a place and you're like, I think I kind of like this dude. And then I'm sitting at this table with like a bus driver who's in recovery and like a tattoo artist in recovery. Mm-hmm. And they're like, they're and they're all the most Chicago, Chicago people I've ever met. Mm-hmm. Like whatever voice you hear in your head when you think about a bus driver from Chicago. Hey, yo, it's me. I'm from Chicago. <laughs> exactly <laughs> did i nail it yeah and he was wearing his bus driver i'm outfit. wearing my bus driver outfit no i don't think that's nah, you lost it. It better the first time. and um and i don't i hate doing accents hey, yo. wait how do people how do sorry well, I'm, I'm trying to help you accents. okay go ahead hey from chicago <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, they were just they were like, you know, you have a good vibe from somebody. And then, Yeah, I think I like anybody named Marty. Yeah, well this is the thing. So I had a good vibe about Marty. I was like, I'm glad I'm working with this dude. And then immediately everybody I met, he's like, Oh yeah, Marty told me about you. Man, we love Marty. Marty's great. Uh, Marty's great. Marty's great. Love it. And uh, Marty's great. Uh oh, unless there's is there a twist to this story? No. Marty oh, was I fantastic gonna, the whole time. I thought you were going to amlate Shyamalan. And his, um, his, his, like, um, his go-to person, um, Noreen, fantastic as well. And then, um, so that was Friday and Saturday. Saturday was a huge recovery show, probably mm-hmm. like 300 people or whatever. Not Hell huge, yeah. but big, you I know. Mean, and oh, my God, I was in my bag that night. Yeah. And it was funny because, like, there's no host, so... I got to kind of warm the crowd up myself mm-hmm. and it took me about six or seven minutes yeah. and I got like a big pop and mm-hmm. then I was just like kid in the candy Boom. store fucking Let's around. Go. Yeah. And, um, Monday and this is the other thing too that happens is that when I go down there, I stay with the Schroeders. Um, they have three wonderful kids, um, Javi, Adele and Ian, and then it's, um, Nancy and Lucas are the mom and dad and, mm-hmm. I stay down in the basement and every morning I wake up to like kids running on the ceiling and like I acknowledge it and then I'll fall back asleep (laughs) for a little bit and yeah, just doing my thing. And then, um, and then she makes soup. What's that? Doesn't she make soup? No. What soup? Doesn't she make food? Yeah. I mean, they make food and stuff. Um, Monday, Monday I took him to Red Lobster. That's where they wanted to go. It was Javi's choice because he thought they were going to have tablets there, but they they didn't. didn't. He went to the wrong Red Lobster without tablets and he was so bummed. It was so funny. Um, but then, uh, yeah, Tuesday at the Laugh Factory as usual, um, Joe, um, the bartender there, Joe LaSalle, um, amazing guy. Wednesday at the Laughing Fox and McHenry. Mm-hmm. Um, great show. Yeah. Paid me fair. Um, I had one of the better sets that I've had in a while. They're one of the most complete sets. Um, I have to talk with people, producers and hosts. Mm-hmm. I need, I'm still trying to find a watch that fits me because my wrist oh. is so big. Okay. But I want like a cheap watch just so I can look because what happens is like, I tell, tell people me. to light me. Mm-hmm at like 40 or something Mm. and then i'll be having like a really good set and they won't light me oh like they decide not to light me because they don't want they think that i want to just like keep Keep going going. and i like i'm which is fine but like i still want to know where the fuck i am i want people to like listen if you run a show and you have me on it and i'm doing great like light me light Mm -hmm. me and then if you if Give me like a shrug and then maybe like a roll your finger a little bit and be like, hey, like if you want to keep going. Let it ride, maybe. Like, or do one of these, like have fun, have fun, mm-hmm. you know, or something. Let me know that I have some grace, but like also like I, I want the light because uh, I'm pretty sure I can tell where I'm at now. Like I, sh- I kind of, it's like an instinct that I don't all the way trust all the way. But anyway, I'm right. I I getting know. into this fucking inside baseball bullshit. Because that's what people are listening to this podcast for. Okay, yeah. So <laughs> if you didn't know, so generally if I'm doing a 45-minute set, I want you, the light at 40 minutes because I have two or three closers and all of them are about five minutes. Right. Unless I try to do the water slide joke, in which case I'm going to start that one at like 35 or 40. 
and hope I get it done by 45. Yeah, because then if you don't get the light, you don't know where you are. Yeah, yeah. So anyway, um, it was great. And then Joe, the bartender who I'm really close with, he came out with his mom and dad, and that ruled. Um, but the other thing that happened is that Tuesday I got like a pretty wicked cold. Oh, no. And Tuesday, like a Tuesday morning, I was like, oh, man. And then I had to do... Um, during the day I was doing these speaking things at like these drug court things for Cook County mm -hmm. and oh my God, it You're just was, dying. I wasn't dying, but like, obviously it sucked. Aww. Like it sucked. I was sick and I'm feeling okay now, but I mean, it was, it was a pretty bad cold and uh, I tested myself. I was worried at first, but then it was just, it's just a cold. And, uh, yeah, and so the rest of the the rest of the the last three days kind of sucked because I Aww. was just like snotty and gross and like trying to like sleep as much as I can and not being able to hang out and do cool Chicago stuff. It's the worst when you are on the road and you don't feel good. Yeah, yeah, like, it sucks. It's not, yeah. not a good time. What are you What are you looking around for? Oh, I don't know anything, nothing. Um, huh. Thursday. What? Oh yeah, the house, house of, of blues. blues. Like I was wondering, and the I'm heritage like, room. Oh my god. Yeah. What a like one of the most beautiful places I've ever performed, and also a show that was such a throwback. Like it's not the big the heritage room. So the main room is like a theater, and it can hold fucking I don't know, maybe like five hundred people or something. Mm -hmm. Um, the heritage room though, I bet we were maybe 150 or something okay. but they got him like the the it's the size of this it's the stage is the size of like a dinner table love it right? and people are just packed Same, yeah in mm. real close to you and the stage is high enough and like i was on one and i knew it was the last show and i'm flying out in the morning you get to go home yeah and lucas came out the dad came out with one of his friends mm. and and it's rare that they have people headline there. Usually it's a showcase show. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what was his name? Um, his last name's Tranny. I can't remember his first name. It doesn't matter. No, it does matter. He's a good guy. <laughs> you could just say Mr. Like yeah, Mr. Tranny. Yeah. Um, why can't I remember his first name? What's wrong with me? Oh, Jesus Christ. That was a really bad idea. Um, anyway. It was great. And then I flew okay. back. And then last night I went and performed um, out in Ocean Shores for 1,000 people Woo. in recovery. And I can't talk any more about that, but that was really Sweet. dope. Sweet. So. Um, that's fucking great. Yeah. And I leave Thursday for Baltimore. Let's go. Yeah, I go in Baltimore. Yeah, and there you, know you go, what? shitty. Baltimore. There you go, mom. I'm actually thinking, uh, I'm not doing any shows in Baltimore. I don't know when I get into town. Yeah, you're going to Virginia, right? Yeah, I'm going to Virginia. Yeah. Stratton. Yeah. So I'm, I am I found a place halfway through Virginia. Where are you staying? Oh, God. I can't even remember the oh. name of that little place. It's like um, Masala or something. Uh -huh. It's a tiny place in Virginia. Sweet. Yeah. So I'll be in. Yeah. Actually, you know, it's funny because it's coming out tomorrow. So, yeah. It's, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll be in Staunton, Kalu, um, and then I'll be at the Blue Ridge Comedy Club. I can't find a show in Memphis. Um, in Memphis, hello. Yeah, or anywhere like an hour within Memphis, I would be down to perform. Um, I haven't gotten a hotel yet in between those two places. Mm. Um, you know, I don't, I maybe, I might just see, I might just drive the whole thing and go. I might just well, drive the 12 and just be done with the drive. Mm, so that's a long that's a trip yeah it's all trip. right though yeah. you know because that way then it doesn't matter then it's like then there's nothing in between <laughs> right exactly <laughs> but the, yeah the, then there's nothing in between yeah, yeah um oh dang well that's exciting though mm -hmm. you're you're taking over the east coast yeah this is my this is probably i think i think virginia is probably well i did maine um but yeah, the stuff that's happening is the the same as before. My something popped with my my Facebook and my Facebook and my Instagram are both very healthy. Uh, my online presence is very good. 
Um, <laughs> I feel like we're going down the checklist. My online presence is good. Okay, what else? Um, and then uh, Michael is doing a great job. Michael is doing yeah. great. He's got me. Um, you know, he's booking. He's booking stuff, and I don't. I don't really. You know, I'm good. That's, yeah, that's that's the fucking name of the game. <laughs> like, yeah, that's what I think. That's what you pay him. That's what you pay him for. Yeah, yeah. And you know what's funny is I still haven't paid him anything. You know that. I still haven't done uh, because I are was you budgeting booked. for that. Well, it doesn't. Yeah, it's just it's yeah because he's getting me better money, so it's not like yeah. But the that starts on um, budget. That's so funny. I know. Yeah, like I have a budget. <laughs> Ooh, no, I'm just like oh, I know money in money out. That's my. Budget. I like money doesn't exist. I don't know what it, like what yeah, do you yeah, mean? yeah yeah. It doesn't feel like it's real. I'll. Uh, I'll actually, I'll show you something after the podcast that you'll get a kick out of. Okay. Yeah. Um, I do, uh, I know that you need to go because um, Brittany needs Taco Bell. Yeah, I'm going to go work out. I did write some jokes though. Hold on. I want to talk about something first. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, last night at the bar we had, um, we had Lynette, our friend. Oh, headliner. Our, our headliner Lynette. Yeah. Let's headlining go. the bar and. Good for you, Lynette. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. Like, you know, I've seen. I've seen Lynette numerous, numerous times, like, mm-hmm. but I've never seen her do forty five. Yeah. And so that was like really fun. She's to, got she's got the juice. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. Like, but it was just fun to see, like, because I've seen this one mm-hmm. and I've seen that one and I've seen this one. Yeah. But I haven't seen them all lined up together. Yeah. You know, and so that was she did I mean and she fucking she did great. They loved every single her second of it. Like th- there's mm-hmm. something I think I think Lynette um, you know what? Maybe we'll see. Maybe we can get her in here on because um, we got to record before Thursday again. Before Thursday, I thought we were doing it on Thursday. Oh yeah, we can record on Thursday. Okay. Wait. I hope that because that's what I have. I have to f- fly out on Thursday. Mm. Okay, whatever. People okay. Don't need to hear this um. Show. Yeah, Lynette. Um, Lynette, and then we had uh, Lisa Rimmert was featuring for her, which she is so fucking funny lisa's doing good yeah. oh she is but she, she sent is me just, the nicest message too it was really funny she's so sweet so. and just like yeah just a good genuine person yeah. but also like the stuff that she's like i like and then she was just doing like she was like goofing with the audience last night and then they yeah. they were kind of getting rowdy and she was like okay you're talking too much you're bothering me now <laughs> and like uh, and they like immediately just like you know whoop, and, i think i want to get i want to take lisa to yeah. go do a gig or something. She's, I mean, she's something. so funny. Yeah. Yeah. I think she's great. I think she rules too. Um, and then Thor did a guest spot, which was his first, um, his first time doing a show. I think, I think, uh, his first time doing a show. Like a paid show. I'm not sure. I think, I'm not sure if it was his first show ever, yeah. or his first paid show, but, um, so, and then Robert Cashmore was, oh, nice. uh, was the host. Oh, that's great. Yeah. 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 And he's, so he he's was fantastic. really, and he loves Lynette. So it was yeah. really sweet to have him. Um, the thing that Lisa messaged me is about the last episode oh, really? where I was talking about like, like these crappy comics. Pull chalk head. Huh? Pull chalk head. No, not pull chalk head, but I think the line that got her is not when I said, these people ask, act like you mm. slap the penises, out, like you're slapping penises out of vag- their penises out of vagina. God damn it! Get that line right because I need you to say it right. I know because oh. I taught when in the original clip I talked over you. Really? And so it's like it's a really funny joke, but like I say something right as yeah. you s- Dude, are I was, saying it, and yeah. so I was. It's not a good clip. I, it's. You know, it's rare that I can find like the same energy I have at a show. Yeah, in the podcast, you <laughs> found you found it. <laughs> and then that day, I was just so fired up. Yeah, dude, there was stuff that happened. Oh my god, my crowd work and like my riffing is doing really well. Yeah. Um, just because you get just so comfortable. Like I just spend, I've just spent so much like. So much time on stage. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't seem like when I when I'm at a show and I go up, um, like I'm I'm immediately like uh, I'm just happy. I don't I don't really have like I'm not like trying to figure a bunch of stuff out. Just like yeah, you know. Yeah. Here's the time when I do find that the thing. Yeah, it t- it just it man, it took a long time. Yeah, it took a long time. Um, but yeah, we will record again later this week. Okay, and can. Um, jokes. 
Jokes. Yes. Also, um, jokes and we booked a date. Oh, yeah. We should talk about that. Um, a, May. Uh, May. 16th. 16th. Yeah, May 16th. Come yeah, see me at the comedy up? bar in Seattle. Let's go. Yeah, unless, um, unless Jess fucking cancels on me um i <laughs> i i booked um david david vox mullen yeah and he said the same thing he was like uh, get your tickets now before she changes her mind <laughs> 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 it's so funny oh, man. okay that's like that's the new just the new running joke yeah is like, just it's gonna cancel these shows on all of mine us. is like oh my god what are you gonna do call fox news yeah, <laughs> yeah. don't tweet about it yeah um okay I don't know. One of them sucks. One Probably of them. More than one. No, I think uh, there's one good one, though. Oh, man. Did you see? Okay, never mind. Um, I always thought that a threesome would be fun, but I'm afraid that the women might be upset when they find out I only have one penis. Is there anything there? It's <laughs> <That's> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> were, they, were they expecting you to have more than one penis? Maybe I bet they'd be happier <laughs> if I did. I know uh, you know you know Japan. some of it's like oh he's only got one one. See some of these jokes like I'm not I know that they're not that funny, but right. I'm excited the, after the joke the, to right. be like right the act out where it's like trying to figure out what could work. Yeah, it's like why did you invite us over here? <laughs> <laughs> why are you yeah. yeah. Uh, if you only have one wiener. If you only have one wiener. Like, there's three of us. Why did you invite us over here? I mean, there's if you two only of have us. One wiener? There's two of us. We were expecting. Yeah. And then. And then. And then what wiener. happens? And then you and then take <laughs> off your hat. <gasps> boing, boing, boing. <laughs> and then they're like, whoa, a oh, head wiener. What? Yeah. Who it's like known? one of those, one of those <laughs> Germans from World War One. <laughs> like, or like one of my cousins. Like, um, what? Like incest. Oh yeah, that was a stretch. Yeah, I know. I was thinking like, a, well, I was thinking of like the was SNL like, character was like, who has like a hand hanging out of their that? forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Okay, they say that people that can't dance have two left feet, but they never specify if you still have a right foot. And if you had it, right foot, wouldn't one of the left feet just be a middle foot? Is that why it's so hard to dance? Because you got to find something to do with that extra foot. Yeah, see, it's so bad. I was so excited about one. Yeah, of the you got jokes. one penis, and then you were like, "Oh, if we do oh, no. one penis, we'll." Just I put add that an one. I wanted foot. to start strong, yeah. and then this one was the any last board. One. <laughs> any board can be a cutting board if you chop something on top of it. <laughs> you know what I mean? If you were like, "This is what I want to talk about," because if you were like building a house, and they were like, "Hey, I got this salami, Dave," and you're like, "Well, and let me just like, turn this house into." I need a cutting board, and you're like, "I got." You just House built one. Board. <laughs> <laughs> Two by four. <laughs> uh, I'm so out of touch now. I used to frame. Like I used to literally build houses. And now I'm like, out I of couldn't touch remember. With construction? Out of touch with the American worker. Oh, man. I, like, I, I, I know that's remember, true. I couldn't remember two by four. Oh. And I literally said house board. <laughs> that's what you build houses out of. Okay, this okay. is the one. This right, is the, the one. one. This is Ladies it. and this gentlemen. Is this is it. This is it. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm going to go see a new movie with my wife tomorrow. It's a sequel. I've been looking forward to it ever since the first one was done. Dune. You Dune. fucked it up. Dune. That's the best Dune. one. Dune. Read it again. I don't. Do you get it? No. Well, I was trying to do you a favor by saying it. No, that. dude. Okay. No. All right. Okay. No. No. Stop. No. Stop no. 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 Well, fucking do. You're things acting like right. everyone else on the internet. Yeah. Stop okay. canceling comedians and read my <laughs> jokes right. Okay. All right. Okay. 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 Put on some weight. <laughs> <laughs> Your mom's a whore. What? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go see a new movie with my wife tomorrow. It's a sequel. I've been looking forward to it ever since the first one was done. No, it's oh, not fucking done. I swear to God, Jess. It's the only good joke I wrote, except for the extra wiener one that was okay. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing that? You're doing it on fucking purpose. <laughs> No. Okay, what is that word? <laughs> You're so. Okay, upset. hold on. 
Dune. Dune. The f- Since the last one was Dune. Okay. The most popular movie in America right now is a movie called Dune 2. Oh, I'm not a movie person. Go, me and I Brittany didn't are know be able that. To see it. And so this is the joke as written. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't you did this you didn't you didn't it's not that you don't you read it you just like changed it what i know i made it better okay no you didn't you didn't make it better because it's a pun and you got to say it like oh okay okay, okay 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 go, go, go do it do it <sighs> i'm gonna go see a new movie <laughs> with my wife tomorrow it's a sequel I've been looking forward to it ever since the first one was Dune. <laughs> it's really good. Because the movie, it actually... Oh. I, okay, first of all, I didn't know that there was a movie called Dune or Dune 2. But I was try, I thought it was... I thought you were trying to say Dune. Like, done. Okay, just a second. I know how to fix this. Here, talk. Fill time. Uh, Okay, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't know that that was in the I movie. I've never heard of. I've never. How do you say? I don't think this do you is call a it last doom? chance. This is like a last chance to save. Okay. That joke. Let me see. And I don't even know if he's gonna pick up. This is my friend Mark Bowen who okay. is joke, gonna have his record master. release. A good thing. Oh, if he doesn't pick up, we're in Mark trouble. Mark the shark. He's watching basketball right now. That's Mark Land Shark. Yeah, Mark the Land. Oh, I said Mark the Shark. He's watching basketball right now. Mark the Land Shark. Well, if we're if we're phoning a friend, if we're phoning a friend, I'm I'm fucking tag somebody in too. You're gonna call. Oh, dude, call Dane right now. Because Mark's not gonna pick up. Dane will. Please leave your message. (sighs) Dane will. Yeah, tell him congratulations, Dane, and then I'll read the joke to him. Okay. Oh wait, nice, and we got it on Bluetooth. Uh, you're on the podcast right now. So hey, Dan, you're on the podcast. So Can don't you hear say us? anything bad about Sam. Okay, okay. Okay. Hi, podcast. Let okay. me explain. Let me explain the situation. So you know, I've been writing jokes for the podcast again, right? Okay. And I wrote this joke, and Jess messed it up because she's not a movie person. Mm-hmm. Listen to this joke and tell me what you think. Can you do that, Dan? Absolutely. Of okay. course, he can. All right. I'm going to see a new movie with my wife tomorrow. It's a sequel. I've been looking forward to it ever since the first one was Dune. <laughs> yeah, that is not good. his real laugh. No, that's not is. his he real laugh. Are you fucking it. kidding me, Dean? Are you fake laughing? <laughs> it's a good That's his joke. real laugh. Did you hear the difference? Did you no, hear the difference between his first? Good. Tell no, no, I'm, I'm not going to go so far as to say it's a good joke, but... I get it. <laughs> you don't have any hair. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> How dare you, sir? I mean, it's a it's a joke. Yeah, it's you out did. There. It you has did all write the it. Pieces of the joke. <laughs> yeah. I kept saying done, but then he's like, uh, he was she tried to me. fix it, <laughs> and then and then I was like, do it the way I wrote it, right? And then she did it the her way again, and oh, like accident. changed the last word to done, and it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> done too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I have been okay. I have been waiting for done too for years. So. Yeah. yeah, well, it fantastic. is a big movie though, and she doesn't know anything about it, which is funny. Okay, thanks, Jane. I, I want to see it. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Wait, let me try. You think, okay. <laughs> no, no, no. You can't just act okay. like that. Like, this That's podcast was Two so for me, good. one for you. Yeah. In the last 10 minutes of the podcast. <laughs> just, was, I was calling our friends. I was calling our friends. <laughs> I'm telling them the joke. Whatever. That's funny. That's funny. Um, let's end this, and we will talk about um, the whole deal. And Sweet. I'm going to go work out, and I'm going to get Brittany Taco Bell. Awesome. And we'll see if we can get Lynette on here, maybe. Yeah. I haven't had a guest in a while. Yeah, I love Lynette. Yeah. I, um, I'm excited. That's it. Good job by you. Bye. Bye.